now I'm going to share. Right, everything checks out. Okay, hello, hello. This is Lab 7 for class EEE 3303C. The title of this lab is Common Emitter, Common Collector, Emitter Follower, and Common Base Amplifier. I am Shane Adelakun. I am Matthew McBride. Daniel Rubio. Junior Luxon. And this is a lab for lab seven. So the objective today is the objective experiment to analyze the common emitters amplified. Verifying the results from my dad with calculations, we need to find the voltage out in three particular cases using the common emitter amplifiers and the, trans the transition is connected to the ground from emitting from the, the emitter, and we will have to input voltage and one DC voltage from the collector and one AC from the base. After this, this lab, we should have a better understanding of how common emitters is used and how it works. All right, this is... <laughs> This is activity one, this is gonna be our diagram. As you can see, we have the circuit is in front of us. Right now it's a common emitter amplifier circuit with the VJT, a voltage source bin, and connected to the, uh, the, the capacitance of C1 to base of VJT. Um, so far, let's see, move this. We're gonna find the RB, the RE, the VCC, so that we could have the IC equal to two MA and VC equal to six volts. And we're gonna find the mid frequencies and the, the, the voltage gain as function of frequency. This is our collection, well, our calculation for activity one as well. As you can see, if you go, if you look and read across the, the board or the, the screen, you can see we found that VCE equals six and two times six is 12 volts. We have 20 mu A over here, which is our IB. Our RB is going to be 515K um, ohms. Um, milliamps is 2.02. Our RE is 495 ohms. The, R, the RL and RE is 6,000 ohms which is um, also our uh, LL is 5.5 K ohms. Our uh, C1 and C2. C1 is 0.1 mu F and C2 is 0.3 mu F. XCI is gonna be uh, 530.78 ohms. And AV is our gain. It's gonna be 423, 423 volts. This is, and that's it. So this is the my dad. Uh, again, the result. So as you can see, the the bottom, the top part of the graph, uh, it increases, uh, which is the gain, and the bottom part decreases. 100,000, 100,000 hertz. That's it. This is the mutism, where we have the capacitor one, 0 0.5 mu ferry. Um, for the resistor RB, we have 415k ohms, RL 1.51k ohms, and VC will be the naive voltage where we have the 0 0.1 ohms. And, and below we have RE, the resistor, 1.5 K ohms, and a second capacitor with one U ferrant. As you can see on the right side of the screen, we have 2.069 MA 
And below that, we have 5.929 voltage. This is uh, activity two and the calculations. Um, for activity two, we're kind of going to be doing the same thing, trying to find the RE and RB and the voltage and et cetera. IC, IC equal to MA and VCE equals six volts. And find to select the CU1 to the C1 to reach the mid, uh, mid frequencies. This is the given data because it's the same base. I'm going to use the same voltages. So VCC equals 12 voltage. Our VE is going to be four voltages. Our IE is going to be 2MA. Our E, 2K ohms. 2, 2K, yeah, 2K ohms. RB, we find that it's going to be 315K ohms this time. Um, and our frequency emitter is going to follow to RI and 123.5K ohms. Our frequency range is going to be 64.4 times 10 to the negative 12 have C and greater or less than 64.4 times 10 to the negative 10 or, or negative, negative 10 frequency. All right. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the my deck activity too. And this one is a bit different. Yeah. So as you can see right here on the graph, the top part is in the bottom. It's kind of, it's going upwards, but, I, and then I, it's, it's going straight up. So um, it looked different from the, the first one, but you can see the trajectory of the frequency. Uh, where it's going, so that's it. This is activity two, motism. Uh, the same setup, similar way from, for activity one, but differently, uh, where we have the capacity 0.5 interference, or a B resistor would be 315K ohms. The, the VC would be 10 volt, volts with 0 0.1 uh, uh, ohms. And where we find in the middle it is, is Q2, 2N, 2222A, uh, basically uh, a type of, of amplifier used in the circuit. Uh, RE below that is 123.5K one, ohms, where it's connected to the circuit. Uh, where we find the measurements on the right side of the screen, uh, two, 2.085 MA uh, for the current, and below that is for the voltage, 6.067 volts. Thank you. This is going to be our activity, our activity three, with our diagram and our calculations. Yet again, same sort of different circuit, but similar. Um, question that I was trying to find here. Um, we're still gonna, we're gonna, this time we're gonna find the IC equal 2MA and VCE equal six volts. We're gonna find the RB, the RC, the R1, and the VCC. Also, we're gonna find the mid frequencies for C1 and CU2 and measure the voltage gain at the voltage frequencies. Um, as you can see to our right hand side, our calculations, somewhat similar to one and two. Because since we're using the same base, same voltages, um, our voltage for VCC all equals to 12 voltages. IB is going to equal to 20 mu A. RB is fifth is 515K, 15K ohms. IE is going to be 2.2 milliamps. RE is 495 ohms. IC is basically VCC, VCC over RL plus RE, and RL equals 6,000 minus 649, and that gives us 5.5 ohms. Our C1, our C1 is going to equal to 10 mu F. C2 is 100 mu F. XZI is 15.9 ohms. 
XCE is 1.59 ohms. And our gain in our bottom is going to equal to 423. All right, so uh, for activity three, it's, it's another to activity one, the gain going up, yeah, right there, going down, uh, you can see the trajectory, and it disappears. Okay, that's it, we're good. Activity three, multism. Where we have uh, the, the, the capacitor one as the previous activities, 0 0.5 UF. Uh, uh, on the left side, that I miss, uh, V, I, N, uh, 220, and V, P, K, uh, one hertz, one K hertz with zero degree. Um, on the first resistor, we have 495 K ohms. Uh, on the amplifier, we have Q2, um, 2N222A, where you can find it's the middle of the circuit. The second capacitor is 0.5 UF. On the resistor connected to that afterwards is RB1. We have 515K ohms. Below that is RC, 5.5K ohms. On the right side, uh, VC. We have 12 voltage, 0 0.1 ohms. Uh, all the way to the right side, we find ourselves six volts of the, of the circuit. And then we have uh, the current 2MA. Thank you. Conclusion, in this lab, we have examined and verified the work of the BJT in all three configurations of a common emitter and a common collector in a common base amplifier. We have learned the characteristics and applications of the, the diodes as the semiconductor devices in the calculations according to the, to the analyze within the circuit. The results of my dad were difficult to attend given the technical difficulty to the my dad and that's all. That's all our slides. Thank you, Professor. Today's date is March 23rd, 2022. And it's Wednesday. All. Yeah. Happy Thursday. Well, happy Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs>